Hi everybody, welcome to SRH Access Live. I'm Lexi and I'm here with Dr. Jane Chung, sports physician. And we, this is very exciting. We are at our new Frisco campus, Scottish Rite for Children Orthopedic and Sports Medicine Center. As you can see, we're still putting some finishing touches on the building here. You might hear some hammering and things in the background. It's still a very active situation up here, but we are really excited. And Dr. Chung, can you tell us a little bit about your role as a sports medicine physician? Yes, Lexi. So I am a pediatric sports medicine physician, and basically I treat athletes with sports-related injuries, whether they are old nagging injuries that still need attention or a new injury that just happened over the weekend on the field. And so my goal is to help athletes get back to their sport as quickly and safely as possible. Now, I try to treat these injuries in a non-surgical method. However, there are times when an injury does require surgery. And so here at Scottish Rite Hospital, we have a team of both surgical and non-surgical physicians who are able to treat the whole athlete regardless of the type of injury they might have. That's great. And can you highlight some of the things that you focus on clinically and research-wise? Yeah, so uh, here at Scottish Rite, we're constantly striving to advance medicine through research and innovation. Specifically, two areas of research in which I'm currently involved in include, one, looking at sleep and how it affects uh, concussion recovery following a sport-related concussion, and number two, looking at stress fractures in, in young athletes and how they affect their recovery. And so these areas are both um, of particular interest to me. Um, as you know, concussion in young athletes is a major public health concern. It's a big topic right now. Exactly. And uh, scientifically, you know, the science of managing concussions in young kids is constantly changing and growing. And currently, uh, you know, there's a lot of things scientifically that we are still learning about in terms of sleep and how it may affect uh, concussion recovery following a sport-related concussion. Um, in terms of clinical uh, interest for me, I really enjoy treating uh, dance-related injuries and injuries that are specific pertaining to the female athlete. Did I hear that you were a dancer at yes, one point? Yes, that okay. is correct. Something that's close yes. to your heart. Then. Absolutely. That's mm -hmm. great. And so what can patients and families expect when they come to see you? Excellent. So here at our new facility, we are excited. We will have a multidisciplinary care model where we will have all the services that an athlete would need. Um, aside from the surgical and non-surgical physicians that will be working here, we will have a state-of-the-art motion science lab. We will also have state-of-the-art physical therapy uh, facilities, including occupational therapy, imaging facilities. And so all the facilities and resources that an athlete would need will be all housed at here and so I am very looking forward to it as we all are and in this new facility we hope to uh, do more programs and studies uh, that will help um, young athletes stay healthy and on the field. That's great I mean this is really a one-stop shop for an athlete or, or other people with pediatric orthopedic problems. Absolutely. Like you said, you can come the Movement Science Lab. If you've driven by the new building it's a huge display. It's absolutely beautiful so Something we're really excited. yes, very excited uh -huh. for. And do you have some tips that we can share with parents today for young athletes? Of course. So we all know the uh, benefits of staying physically active in sports participation. Research has shown us that kids who play sports tend to get better grades, have higher self-esteem, they have higher graduation rates, and decreased rates of anxiety and depression. However, the importance of good sleep is often kind of ignored and pushed under the rug, so to say, in our young growing athletes. Sleep is very important not only for physical, cognitive, and mental well-being, but also growing evidence is now showing us that sleep is very important for athletic performance, injury, and recovery. So I want to emphasize the importance of good sleep and good sleep hygiene, not only for optimal health in our growing young athletes, but also for athletic performance as well. This is something that's important for, for everyone, but especially Absolutely. for those young athletes. And can yes. you kind of talk to me about, you mentioned sleep hygiene. That's kind of a funny term that maybe people have never heard mm -hmm. of. What exactly does that mean? And what are some good tips for that quality sleep you're yes. talking about? So when we talk about good sleep hygiene and good sleep quality, here are some five simple tips that parents can try to incorporate in their young athletes. Number one, I advise at least eight to 10 hours of sleep per night in our growing young athletes. Um, I also recommend about nine to 12 hours in our younger kids ages five to 12 years of age. Sounds like a lot, something you really have to plan for. Yes, 
And number two, I want them to stay away from electronics at least one to two hours prior to bedtime. We know that the blue light that's emitted from these smartphones and electronics, they negatively affect the sleeping hormones in our body. And number three, set a routine. The 30 to 60 minutes prior to bedtime should be a time of relaxation. So you want your body and brain to know that it should be preparing for bedtime, whether it be taking a warm bath or shower, reading a book, meditating, aromatherapy. Some of those are good things to kind of help the body and brain relax. And number four, you want to stick with a routine. Um, having a consistent and regular schedule of sleep and wake schedule is very important and you want to try to keep them even on the weekends as well. And lastly, having a very good sleep environment is key. You want the room to be dark, quiet, a cool temperature, and having a soothing and calming environment is very important for good quality sleep in our young athletes. Have you seen patients who have maybe started to implement some of that and then come back and tell you what a difference it's made? Or what kind of feedback have you gotten on this? Absolutely. Um, like I said, you know, sleep is so important and crucial, not only for you know optimal physical and cognitive functioning, but now new studies are showing us that it plays an important role perhaps in athletic performance, injury, and recovery. And parents say kids who get a good night to sleep, they're in a better mood, they're happier, they're more efficient. Um, and uh, there's new research that's um, starting to show us that they may be at decreased risk for injuries as well. So all the good benefits, and there's lots that we are still learning about. You just feel better, so Absolutely. easier to perform better when you feel better. Yes. So what are you most excited about for this new facility that's going to be opening? I am excited that you know we will be working in a fantastic facility that's housing all the new state-of-the-art um, uh, services and capabilities so that our patients can come and truly um, have everything that they need in terms of um, sports uh, uh, injuries and whatnot that we can help them with. Yeah, because yeah. I mean the Plano facility is great, but this is allowing you guys to expand in just a whole new way. Yes, and we're very excited about it. And I'm not sure if you can see behind us, but we're right at the corner of Lebanon and the Toll Road, so not too far from the Plano um, facility, yeah. and the Star is actually very close by, so some very iconic buildings and things around here. Excited to be part of this new community. Absolutely. It's yeah. going to be great. Yeah. And so make sure you follow us on all of our social channels, obviously here on Facebook. We also have a YouTube channel. We post lots of videos. Dr. Chung has been highlighted in some of those. We also have a Twitter account um, and an Instagram. So be sure to check us out on those and we'll see you next time. Thanks for joining us. Thank you.